A sight never seen before in Wisconsin. Several flamingos were spotted on the beaches of Lake Michigan over the weekend. But how did these tropical visitors make their way to America's Dairyland? Fox 11's Lexi Schrader brings us the details. On the final day of summer, five flamingos were seen taking a dip on the shores of Lake Michigan in Port Washington. It's a once in a lifetime occurrence and it happened because of this unusual coincidence. Stanley Temple, professor of wildlife ecology at UW-Madison, says this is the first time a wild American flamingo has been sighted in Wisconsin. He says the main breeding area for flamingos is down near the Gulf of Mexico around the Yucatan Peninsula in western Cuba. It just so happened while the birds were on the move flying over the Yucatan Strait, that open water between Cuba and the Yucatan, that the hurricane came through. Temple says Hurricane Adalia's strong winds pushed the birds north. Eventually making landfall in the U.S. and then again with tailwinds, it brought them up into the Ohio Valley region and eventually all the way to Lake Michigan and Wisconsin. There was another apparent sighting of a flamingo right here at Menasha's Dam over the weekend, but that sighting still has yet to be confirmed. Fox 11 reached out to the flamingo spotter for an interview. He denied, but gave permission to use the photo. There's a little bit of controversy over the authenticity of that and, uh, you know, maybe some details still that need to, to come to light. And even if it was legitimate, uh, it was only present for a very short time and then not seen again. Ryan Brady, conservation biologist with the Wisconsin DNR, says flamingos have been seen in at least 12 states like Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania over the last month. Never before have we seen dozens or hundreds of them that have moved into the eastern United States. Flamingos aren't the first rare bird sighting in Wisconsin this year. In July, a roseate spoonbill was spotted at the Ken Ewers Nature Area in Green Bay. Before this summer, the bird was last seen in the state 178 years ago. That one is a little bit to do with just dispersal patterns of what is a growing population of spoonbills in, in Florida. As for the flamingo's ultimate fate, Brady says it's hard to know when birds wander out of their range, but says there's a good chance they'll make their way back south as temperatures get colder. They can tolerate colder temperatures than a lot of people probably think, even though they're tropical birds. So we shouldn't have any immediate concerns over their ability to, to handle the, the weather. In Menasha, Lexi Schrader, Fox 11 News. Did you see any of those flamingos in Wisconsin this weekend? If so, we would love for you to share your images with us. Scan the QR code that you see on your screen to submit any of your photos or videos to chime in. You can also head to fox11online.com and click on the menu button and then scroll down and click on chime in.